Well, you know, I did write down a few notes, but after that nice speech by the mayor, I think I should just scrap mine. <laughs> Thank you very much for the compliments, by the way. Our club started roughly around 1945, long before you were born. And we met one or two in houses in Fort William and one or two in the houses in Fort Arthur. And after a while, they decided to amalgamate and they called themselves a club. And their first name was the Lakehead Society of Fine Arts. <laughs> That's my husband, by the way. <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what you call it. <laughs> but from that point on, you know, we had a lot of flamboyant uh, presidents. And whenever we got a new president, there was also always changes. And the first change we had was after the Society of Fine Arts, um, we changed the name. Around the 1960s, that was a quite a, a, an active year. This is long. This is before the university started, Con College, uh, the auditorium. We were here before them all. In fact, when the university started first, we were asked to put on a display. And we did that there. We did a Con College. We've done it at Intercity Mall. Um, we've done displays, well, at the Mary J. Blacker Library years ago. We used to have a display above the books, and we changed it every other month so that the people going into the library would you see the, the paintings that were going on in Thunder Bay. Now, as you know, we had a few artists like Susan Ross, who went on to national and international claim. Uh, but we also had Daphne Odrew, who was a native uh, artist here, and her first exhibit was with us in this building. Not this present building, but the old building. Uh, that was her first exhibit, that was in the 60s. And she also went on to international fame. We had different ones like you, uh, um, Noel Ducharme, he started with the club. He could even paint when he started with us. And he learned from the different members of the club. And he got an agent and he went on to California and to Toronto and made a name for himself. Um, uh, Morisot wasn't exactly a, a member of our club but he was always dropping in to visit us. In fact, you could buy one of his paintings at the time, done on brown paper, for two dollars. I mean, that's in the 60s. Now, of course, this, our gallery here was called the Marina Gallery. It was never called the Baggage Rolling. That's a new name we have given it. <laughs> I'm not exactly crazy about the name. John Smallwood, I should mention him in the 1974s. For example, this is one of his paintings. Now, he was like the rest of our members. He was a volunteer with the, the club, but he was always willing to go out and share his uh, talents with people. He would go into the schools. He would go sit in the Edens and he would do his painting. Now, a painting like this would take John about an hour, an hour and a half. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, a lot of the artists used to say, well, you can't tell the time of day in his painting. But if you look closely, John didn't bother about that on his way to the bank. <laughs> And, uh, of course, John is gone now, but that was done in 1974. And um, we've, we've had different exhibits. For example, when Waverly Park Towers opened up first, we were the first ones asked again to do a display in their big uh, open area in the bottom. And, uh, as I say, the uh, Live and Con College again. And a lot of our members, taught at Conn College 
at uh, university, uh, at the high schools, at the 55 plus, and they're still active there. And of course, with, with the assistance of the city of Thunder Bay over the 60 years, we had a strong volunteer membership, the Lake and Visual Arts, that has operated and maintained it all the way for, well, 60 years as a, a club. And as I say, we're all volunteers. We put on these displays, hoping that people will enjoy them and that I are encouraged by the work done by the artists of Thunder Bay. Um, in the 70s, they were also very active as well. And then in the 80s, but I tell you, every time we had a new president, there was always new things happening, which is good. You know, it's like City Hall. <laughs> we get new council in, it's good, you know, we get changes. <laughs> But that's about all I can say. As I say, we are an active member. We, we, we're still going. But um, this is a gorgeous building. It really is. Uh, as I say, we, we don't particularly call it the baggage building. <laughs> but uh, as a marina gallery, it's lovely. It really is. And thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs>